and some of you praise the Lord. Come on, stand to your feet and give God a praise. He's worthy of all praise. Give the God good. Give the God good. I don't know what is going on, but lately the church haven't been the church. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We ought to be on fire for God one more time. No matter what situation arises, we got to put that aside and give God some praise. Come on, somebody, give God praise. Come on, There's a song that is in my head all week, and I'm I'm just going to ask Missionary Brown to help me sing this song. Yeah, Jesus, hallelujah. Please, Jesus, use me. Lord, do not refuse me. There's a work ahead for me to do. Oh, even though I stumble, Lord, Oh, bless the Lord. If you're not aware, he can easily shake you a bit. I stand to tell the enemy that I am going way with God. Bless the name of Jesus. And we all ought to say that I'm going further with God. As last Sunday, I listened to the preacher saying that uh, there is more for you in God. You see, we jump, we shout, and run all over the place while we're in church. What happened when we leave here? What happened when we walk out the door and we, we're attacked by different demons? It might be your son, your daughter, your old family member. How do we handle that? All day today I heard power. We need more power. We need to mobilize ourselves, energize ourselves, lift ourselves up, go deeper and deeper depths in God. But as soon as something happens, some of us just roll back. And I sat there and just roll back the curtains and I start to think about the time when God saved me. We had our great day. We were in and out and doing all kinds of crazy things, but never forget when the Holy Ghost touched us. The things that we used to do was bitter. The things that we used to say, we couldn't say it anymore. We find that we got to a stage where when we walk into places, folks would just look at us and say, you look like a preacher. I don't even have to say anything on my job. If they're cursing, and I walk in the room, they stop or they apologize to me. That is God. That is God. And 
that is where we ought to be and deeper in God. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, my, 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 my apology. I must greet my pastor. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. The world's finest pastor right here, Pastor Jones. And, and let's put your hands together for her. And Elder Anderson, greet him and his beautiful wife. In the mighty name of Jesus, all workers, mothers, missionaries, and bishop. It's been a while, sir. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. I always ask for you. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. To his wife, I greet you in no other name than in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, I am excited. I'm on fire for God. Uh, can I just talk about Jamaica for two minutes? We went down to Jamaica uh, two weeks ago uh, to bury our grandmother and um, we had started a prior group a couple of years ago and I didn't even go online anymore with that prior group. But I decided to go online and just reach out and say I'm coming to Jamaica. We, we, we have people in all corners of the world, Africa, everywhere. I don't know how they just came popping up on that prayer line. And uh, we just thank God for that. And when I went down there, the first thing, they were waiting at the airport. A few people was waiting at the airport. They said, oh, Vision is having, Vision Apostolic is having, um, they're, they're having convocation and you have to go. I did not even put my back down. I had to show up at church. I said, listen, I'm going, I'm here to bury my grandmother. They still wanted me to just come down. And I, I had a wonderful time in God. And I'm, I'm just so excited about that. Away from the bitter sweetness of being down there, putting away my grandmother, I did enjoy the spiritual side of Jamaica. Just to be honest with you, when I, my, this is my first trip back to Jamaica, save we always go to Jamaica and we go party, we do everything. But this time around, we went into the house of God. Somebody ought to give God praise for that. All those things are better to me now. I have no interest in drinks. I have no, I, I, I remember trying one time to drink some rum at one, it was bitter. Bitter. Can't do it anymore. Because I, I, I want to go further with God. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can we stand everywhere in the house? Just grab your Bible real quick. Second book of Corinthians. Chapter number four. I'm just going to read two verses there. Uh, six and seven. When you find it, say Amen. 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 And the word of God read, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, I shine in our heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But in the face of Jesus Christ, but we have this treasure, an earthen vessel, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. Can we just praise the Lord again one more time? Just look at somebody and say, I'm special in the sight of God. And nothing here can stop me in God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. You may be seated for a few minutes. We've gotten to a time and place in Christendom, in the church, that things and time have changed so much, any and everything goes in churches. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. If I can reflect for a minute when I first got saved, bless the name of the Lord Jesus, there were certain things that you would be afraid to do. You would be so fearful of the altar. You didn't even want to stay in the middle, much less to come up here. But we've gotten to a time where it seems like all kinds of things has crept in. 
And the church as a body is not the same church that we used to be. Not anymore. Mothers are getting fearful. They see things both spiritually and they're playing a blind eye to everything. But I stopped by to tell you that God is well and alive. The church will always be the church. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, there are certain things that is holding back the church. You see, our eyes are blind. That veil is covering our eyes where we are walking away from things and say, it's not my business. Yes, pastor needs some help too. Sometimes pastors drain, our spirit is tired. We need workers in the house of God. Bless the name of Jesus. You find that a child of God moving forward, fear is killing them. You see, if you have the love of God inside of you, there's no way that fear should take you over. God is love. We ought to stand up for justice and fight this good fight of faith. Bless the name of Jesus. There's also unbelief that is killing the church. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We claim that we believe everything that the Bible says. Are we living to the word of God? Are we living here? Are we seeing it eye to eye? We need to pray some more and understand the word of God more that we can walk in a newness of life. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. There is also condemnation. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of folks that condemn each other. Instead of sitting up and talk to an individual, talk life into somebody, kill them. We kill their spirit. It is time to seek God before we go and talk to an individual instead of condemning them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, there's also intimidation. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. And we understand intimidation. Kings 21, 25, uh, we talk about King Ahab. He was a weak husband, wasn't he? In so many ways, the Bible tells us everything and teaches us everything. Everything is right here for us. Every experience that we're facing on today, it's right here. Right in the Word. You could twist and turn it and make it your own way, but it's right in the Word. Anything that you want, comfort, it's right in the Word. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Understand that the church is in a place that it's a surface worship that is going on. I'm sorry, but that's just how I got it. Praise God. We have to get from the root and dig it up. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We have to come from the root. Remember some things that grandma taught you. Mm -hmm. Remember some things that the old bishop teach us. We have to come bring them back. Because they never fail. There was healing in the church. They drive out demons. What's the difference? When we come to church, we, we cannot go back home the same way. A lot of us come to church and the same spirit that is within us. Is the same spirit that we leave and go. Yes. Don't we understand that this is holy ground? Yes. How many know that this is holy ground? Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. The days when, when, when you walk into church and everything that was not of God that come your direction. Hallelujah. 
will suddenly just go away. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Or you run to the altar seeking God. Folks are too embarrassed now because fear is locking them up. Locking them up from, from running to the altar and saying, I have sinned or something is happening in my life. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. It's time to get back to the basic of church. Getting rid of all those distractions. Those doors that are open. That's letting in these little things in your mind. That is intimidating you. From worshiping God. Get back to the true and living God. A God that does not partial. A God that you can go to any time for everything that you want. I often said that he's blessed me in so many ways. The fact even what I went through towards the ending of this year. And to think that he brought me back on my feet. Much better. Stronger. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. And, and, and that is just something to be thankful for. Yeah, the church has gotten to a stage where we sing, we dance. I want to say it's just emotion that we're going through. And the true and living woman and man of God sits down and because of friendship refuse to say a word. We've gotten to a stage now where if I'm at fault with anything come to me and tell me. Because God's church is going to be God's church. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We can't do surfeit worship anymore. Come on now. Come on now. We ought to worship in, in, in spirit and in truth. It's beyond these walls. It's beyond your job. It's your house. It's everywhere. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all these things, all other things are added unto you. Some of us are looking for all kinds of stuff and we haven't started seeking God yet. <laughs> oh Jesus. We have to get back to basics. That's the word that God gave me today. Get back to basics. The surface thing is just a brush off. We, we can't say that we're, we're in love with God and we're fighting with our brother and our sister. We can't say we're in love with God and we're condemning each other. We can't say that we're in love with God and we see certain things happening and refuse. Now, I'm not saying for you to run to someone or even use, when I'm up here in the pulpit, bless the name of the Lord Jesus, you are an oracle of God. You're, you're, you're hearing from God. You're not here to condemn anyone or put anyone down. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. But we are here to say, thus say the Lord. Uh, I'm not sure where that come from, bless the name of the Lord Jesus, but it, it, it's, it's just something that has just popped in my spirit, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We, we cannot, we, we have to stop it for us to get deliverance from God. Because God is love and everything that he promised you, he will give it to you. God bless you until 